welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. Today we're going to be demystifying Kahoot for busy academics. This is Kahoot's uh, login screen. If you don't have an account, please use this page to sign up for a free account. They also have a premium one if you want to pay for the added features. We certainly don't want to do this today, so I've already logged in. Uh, I have a different tab here, and as usual with my tutorials, we're going to go straight to the point. We're going to create a Kahoot. Uh, we're given several templates that we're not interested in because we want to do something from scratch. Um, I'm going to create uh, a question that will be part of a formative assessment quiz and uh, the topic today is going to be Pro Tools. I'm also a Pro Tools official instructor. If you are keen to learn more about it, please get in touch with me. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do now is to add an image. Make sure that the image is not larger than 10 uh, megabytes because Kahoot doesn't deal well with that. Um, once this is done, I am gonna add um, the question um, by copy pasting it. Of course, I've done this uh, before, so we can um, do this type of thing faster and not waste too much time uh, preparing this. But I think it's important for you guys to see the whole um, process. Um, mainly because it's quite simple to um, create this sort of thing in Kahoot and, and share it around. I think it's it's a really interesting um, software and students generally like it because you're basically gamifying the, uh, the learning experience. Um, this last sentence is a little bit too long, but we actually need one like this. And once you finalize creating your question, you will now uh, tick the box of the question that is correct. Um, and you're pretty much good to go. It, this is this is it, right? Um, on the left side, you can add a question and you have different types of questions that you could ask um, or different types of formats of questions that you can add. Um, I don't want to add more because it's kind of it's kind of pointless at this at this point in time. So I'm gonna go back and talk a little bit about the fact that you can import slides in case you have presentations that you want to add. Um, you can also come down here and import spreadsheets um, if this is necessary for the type of assessment that you want to deliver. Um, on the right hand side you have again the question type which is similar to the one that we showed on the left hand side. Uh, we also have the time limit that the student will have to answer the question. You can add points you know, double points, no points to um, gamify this further. And you can also uh, apply this option if uh, a single answer is correct or a multiple uh, uh, amount of answers might be um, correct. Um, you could potentially have image reveals here if you want to hide parts of the image. If, for example, the answer uh, could be in, the, in that image. Um, for my example, it doesn't really uh, matter. Uh, you can duplicate um, the question that you just added. So you have a second slide on the left based on, on the first slide and it has exactly the same thing. So you, you don't have to start it from scratch, I guess. Um, and if you're not happy with it, you can just come here and delete uh, the question that you just duplicated. Um, this is pretty much done. So you press the done button. And uh, once this is done, you can test the Kahoot play it now or share it with others. Um, I'll let you play with the first two options because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the share it with others uh, will allow you to once again spread it across social media and other interactive programs. You can also have a link and you copy the link and you can spread it around as you wish or you embed it in the QR code like I suggested in a previous tutorial. That's a wrap. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. See you next time.